and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores the Sky, episode 26. So, what do we have for today? We have Craggy Coast, which also has an enemy on it. Hmm. We're getting less and less cloud cover. Hmm. See you, Shilion. Pine Echo or Pine Co? Uh, five and nine, right? Anyone? Is that you? Yeah, I'm. This is a. This is the first time. I'm pretty sure this is the first time going back to a dungeon. Nah, that was during. Oh no. Thank goodness. It was during the um ex expedition arc. So now we can actually recruit Pokemon here. Six. Yeah, did it. Level up. Two. One. 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 Is it a seal? Okay, no, it's just a Gastron. I don't let you know if Gastron... Because anyone has muddy water. I don't think muddy water covers this entire screen. It better not. Hmm, Sky Gummy. Now to deliver the spine go. Dirty trick. So if it's not in view of the low tad, then so basically the low tad. Well, if the Pokemon can't by chance happen to use growl on the Pokemon that you're escorting, then that means that they can't see them, obviously. So that, yeah, the mission won't be complete. Like, what happened there? Hmm, another sleep seat. Gibble might actually not evolve. No, I think she can evolve. She might not be able to. I don't actually know. I'm not very familiar with Gibble and the Garchomp line. Hey, Blue Gummy, that's why you need this place. So Drought Orb would actually be useful here, because what a Drought Orb, let's get rid of Drought Orb would do is actually... Anything to say? Oh, great. Well, to be fair, that's not that bad. There we go. Like that, uh, Lord Nerina. She was so distraught by me ignoring her um, plea for help that she turned into a life of crime. Thank you for escorting me to Lotad. Please accept this 3,000 polka. And we'll join whatever 60 explorer ranks. This is your Rodney Arena for the rest. This is this is this is Vanny and you uh lost heads. Show three and poker. This is any of your cooperation. This is <coughs> Are we gonna hit the major part of this arc tomorrow? Who knows? Say, Benjamin, how is Elf and his friends are doing? Maybe they're fighting Groval? Well, I just can't sleep when I think about that, but if you stop to think, it's all f so very strange. I mean, Pokemon from the future? That extraordinary is really possible? That's true! I'd accept that Pokemon could come from the future. But there's Celebi. The Alga, actually. Come to think about it, this never crossed my mind before. 
The future where Dustin and Groval came from. What is it like? Is the future like the present day? The world at peace? Oh, it's another early day tomorrow. Better force myself to sleep. I'm gonna sleep, Benjamin. Sweet dreams. Tomorrow, let's do our best. Good night. I think actually tomorrow is going to be the day. The next one. Yeah, I think it's gonna help me. Up and at him! It's morning! Mine actually not mean anything. Oh, good morning, Benjamin. Diglett. Ahem! As the attempt to capture Grova, we have yet to receive word that Grova has been captured. I understand that you are all itching for something to happen. Consider this to test your patience. You need to carry on with your usual work. Okay, it is time. Oh, what's the siren? The Pew Magma is here. This, this is a message from Officer Magnus on Zzz. We are pleased to deliver this report. Zzz. Zzz. Grova has been finally captured. Zzz. Whoa, at last! My gosh, Grova has been captured! Oh my gosh, did it! Yippee! Zzz, there's more. Zzz, Grova was captured by the great guy Snor. Obviously, Zzz, Zzz, he has informed us that he will return to the future with Grova. Zzz. Dustin is going home. Going back to the future. How do you go back? Zzz, I do not claim to understand the process. Zzz, Zzz but I've heard that they will be going through a tunnel. Zzz, he called it a dimensional hole. Zzz, Zzz, he opened a dimensional hole in the town's main square. I'm told. Zzz, Zzz, Dustin told us that he wishes to say goodbye before he leaves. Zzz, Zzz, therefore he hopes that you will come see him for the last time at Treasure Town Square, Zzz. Hey, hey, well, what are we doing here? Let's hurry, we have to go to Treasure Town. Wow. It's a little less impressive. I expected it to be like the aura that surrounds Time Gears. Something more standing than just like a rip. Everyone's already here. Hey, hey, I don't see the Great Dustin around yet. What's that? This is that is dimensional hole. Is... Dimensional hole? Oh! The manga was trying to explain earlier! Really? This is it? This is it? Isn't that something? That means that here will take you to the future? This is it. Watch out. This is it. This is it. Stay clear. This is it. This is it. And see you touch it, you will be sent to the future. This is it. This is it. Please be extremely careful. This is it. Oof. Oh! Yuxi! Mesprit! And his elf too! Umbra! <clears throat> You're all safe. Am I glad to see that? Naturally. To the planet scene? Yep. I had to hand it to the great dust It was flawless. It has been captured. And gained all the time gears he'd stolen. <coughs> yes, I'm so glad. This one should be along shortly. Oh, who's that? It's the great dust Here comes the great dust Everyone, make way! Th that's. That's Grovile. I mean, that bad guy, that's for sure. It's great they finally caught him. That's right, the world's nearly ruined because of him. Real split second sprite like overlay glitched there. Like that sable light suddenly appeared on top of Grovile for a second, I think. Everyone, today I would like to share excellent news with you. Finally, Grovile. Grovile has been captured. It was all made possible by your selfless support and cooperation. I can't thank you enough. You see, Grovile is a vicious and wicked Pokemon. Capture should result in nice and peace for your world. Oof! Oof! Looks like Grovile muzzled. Can't say a word that way. But, let's also deliver a sad piece of news. It's time for me to return to the future. Everyone, so now I bid you farewell. Oh, so that was true, hey hey? I'm feeling the blues. There's so much I wanted to learn from you. Yep, yep. Yixie, Mesprit, and Zelf, I entrust you with the rest. Yep. We know. We got the time gears back. Make sure that they're returned to the rightful places. The task is yours. Zzz, thank you very much zzz, for everything. Zzz, zzz, you've literally saved us all. Zzz. Oh no, no. You've been most kind and helpful. You'll continue to work to preserve the peace. Zzz, yes, you can demand on that. Zzz. Now, I'm afraid the time has come. I'm shaking with anticipation. It sort of spoils things, isn't it? Everyone! No, it pains me. Uh, Oogie! I hate sad goodbyes. I ho ho hope we see you again. Wah! Listen, I said, wah! Oh, yes. 
Before I go, I must see two Pokemon. Umbra and Benjamin. That's us. Let's go up there. So this is really goodbye. Dismiss, sir. Everything you've done? Thank you sincerely. Well, this is goodbye. Or is it? Pardon? It's too soon for Pharrell's. Ah! You two are coming with me. Ah! My gosh! Umbra Benjamin! What was... What just happened? Ah! And welcome to when Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores becomes Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores. Chapter 14, Into the Future. Ugh, where is this? I was dragged? I can't lose in consciousness again for like the 15th time. <coughs> Wait, this is the... the paralyzed future that he was talking about. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, Master Dialga. While I encountered more difficulty than anticipated, I finally succeeded. In the capture, yes. I fully understand what must be done. Those who seek to alter the course of history must be removed from history. I will see to the elimination immediately. I understand. As you wish, I take my leave. Hey, Benjamin! Wake up, Benjamin! Welcome, everyone, to the future. Ugh. Where? You awake? This place, I think it's a jail. A jail? I just woke up a little while ago, so I'm not sure what's going on. Try opening the doors, but they're locked. Seems to be no other way out. I think that we've been locked up. Ugh. What's going on? We're locked up. I don't know what's going on either, but I may as well investigate. We were locked in. Uh. Benjamin tested the doors. The doors failed to open. It's no good. Grandma said these doors won't open. Sure looks like we've been locked up. Hmm. How do we end up this way? What happened was, Dustin grabbed us, dragged us into the dimensional hole. What? Wait, so is this maybe... Is this the future? But that's... I can't believe this! I mean, this is the future? Why are we even here? Ah, but... This whole room is built in a way unlike anything I've ever seen. I have time to think. Maybe this actually is the future. But Benjamin! Are we really in the future? Uh, now, how are we... What are we supposed to do? So if... If this place is the future, how are we supposed to get back to our world? Oh. They're awake. How convenient. Alright, we'll do this quick. Do this quick, do what? Uh, uh, man, they blindfolded me. I can't see a thing. Come with us. Oh, don't push. Ugh, this blindfold makes it impossible to tell where I'm going. But where are they taking us? We're here. Well, where is this? Let me trust stop, I can't move! Why is this happening? Oh! Umbra! Am I glad to see you? You're okay, right? Oof. You're clueless about what's gonna happen. Because you can afford to be nonchalant about it. Pardon? That voice came from over there. Grovile. Grovile! You two. You have any inkling about where you are? No. This is a stockade. Preparing to get rid of us for good. What? Get, get rid of us? Wait a second, I can understand why they want to get rid of you, Grova, but why us? You haven't done anything wrong. Hmph. Couldn't care less. You've done something they can't tolerate. What? We haven't done anything bad? I don't think that we're like you. I don't care. You're wasting time losing your cool. Meanwhile, look. Here they come. Oh, who are 
they? They're the jailers who do all the dirty work around here. Having to be Dustnor's underlings. What? The great Dustnor? Hey, it's Dustnor. Lord Dustnor, the three have been tied to the stakes. Good. Dustnor, sir, it's me, Umbra. Very well, Sableye. Those three, we need to be rid of them. What? Pay them no heed. You may get ready. <laughs> Where you, Miss Dustler, sir? What's happened to you? Are you doing this to us? Don't waste your breath. I said, shh. Keep your voices down so they can't hear you. I keep my voice down? You two. Do you want to get away? Give me your full, full cooperation. What? Help you, Govile. There's no time to think. Or would you prefer to stick around for them? Psst, hey, you there. Tell me. What can you do right now? What? What can I do? You asked me to how to know her. Hmm. Well, what can I do? I can attack, I guess. That's it. That'll do. If there's a rare attack, I can help too. Good. Then we are ready to begin. Very well. But be vision to the end. Don't take your eyes off them. Especially that grove out. <laughs> Commence now. <laughs> They're coming! Listen carefully. Save lights, use claws to strike. <coughs> Next, that sounds scary! And that might just open one avenue for escape. Save will unleash your fury swipes in a frenzy. No, not the dreaded fury swipes that insta kills you! That's our chance. Even one of their attacks were to hit the ropes binding us. Alright, the ropes might come loose! Exactly. If that happens, lash out with an attack and flee. But, 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 what if they're fury swipes don't smash the ropes? And what if, what if the Sigla don't use fury swipes at all? Well, <laughs> that happens. Don't even think about it. Ah. Ah. In endure it. Wait for your chance. But if they keep going, get down before a chance comes. Hey. There's a break in the rope. Now, attack. Go. Ah. Well, what is this? There. Ah. You can't see. Compose yourselves. It's only a luminous orb. Except for if it's <coughs> Thanks, we're off quickly. But blast it! The Grove Owl. You feel using the flash from that luminous orb is cover. We'll get away with this, come on. <laughs> Oh, I mean, that makes sense. How? I guess Dig does carry you out of a dungeon or whatever. Ah, it's a cave. Blech. I got dirt in my mouth. We're, we're safe. Whoever can use Dig, he sure knows many moves. We got out of that scrape, but we're not out of the woods yet. Let's get out of here and fast. Come on, this way. We need to keep running until we hit the exit. Come on, faster. Pick it up. I'm running as fast as I can. Don't worry me around. Anyway, Grova. What? Is this the future? That's right. You catch on fast. Heck, so it is, after all. Are we Are we going to be able to get back to our world? Who knows? Just need to get away for now. If you get caught returning home, will be the least of your worries. Run faster. I can't. I'm exhausted. <sighs> We're almost there. Look, the exit's right there. <laughs> we did it! We're outside! <laughs> wow, what? What is this? And welcome everyone to the future. This is our world in the future? Those boulders are floating. This is a really strange place. It's horribly dark. Not even the wind blows. It's as if all movement, as if everything stopped. Exactly. Pardon? <laughs> ah, I hear the Sableye. We have to keep running. Oh, 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 oh. Say, Grovile, I'm dead tired. There's no time to rest. If they catch us, we're done. Tough it out and run. 
It's easy for you to say, Huff. Of, I, I, I have to rest. All right. This forms a natural alcove. It should shield us from view. With a quick rest, we'll have to get moving again. Oh, wait a minute! Why don't we escape from the Sake we cooperate with you because we had to? I promise we go with you afterward. Bad Pokemon like you, I can't trust you. Umbra. Humph. Well, I'm the bad guy, and that Dustin is a good guy? How about explaining Dustin's actions earlier? It wasn't just me, they wanted you gone too. Her, but that doesn't mean I can trust you, Gruba. Entering your trust is an easy task, it seems. But the having eyes would help, but there's no point continuing together without trust. Go our separate ways. And staying on the move. You should get moving as soon as possible. Good luck. Wait, wait a second. You say to leave soon, but it's dark out now. It's hard to see where we're going. Staying on the move right now, shouldn't we wait for morning? Be better to leave when it gets light out? That is impossible. I hate to say it, but morning never comes. Pardon? This world, your future, it's a world of perpetual darkness. The sun never rises, so morning never comes. This persists forever. Wait a sec, so shouldn't one side of the world actually be in full light forever? Like, full daylight? Because it's not like... I mean, unless... To be fair, if like the outer at... But then how could we breathe if the atmosphere is frozen? But if the outer atmosphere is frozen, in theory, then... Maybe all the light would be reflected out of it. It's like a doomsday greenhouse effect. Jeez, the greenhouse effect is opposite. Never mind. And why? Because the planet has been paralyzed. The planet is paralyzed. The planet's paralysis. The planet's paralysis. That's right. I remember now. I wasn't described the planet's paralysis before. Okay. Weird. My Xbox One lit up. Did I connect? Real or something? I don't know. It was nothing less than causing the planet's paralysis. Planet's paralysis? Yes. That becomes paralysis as all movement upon it ceases. Time gears removed, the flow of time slows in its region. When you're more taken, time slows in an ever larger area. Eventually, the flow slows down so much that it stops entirely. During the planet reaches a state of total paralysis. Planet's paralysis? What happens to this world? Well, where the planet's become paralysis. So this image was our future. No winds blow. The day never comes. Neither spring nor summer ever comes. I guess that makes sense how we could know this. It's a world of unrelenting darkness. Maybe no exaggeration to call it the complete ruin of the world. You know what's worse? Gates to infinity and super mystery dungeon won't happen then. The planet's paralysis. It's true that this place appears just like Dustin already described it. Even then. It's hard to understand how the planet has been paralyzed in the future. You're free to believe or reject what I'm telling you. Either way, I suggest you leave here as soon as you can. I'm going. I want to stabilize, catch you. Hey, Benjamin, I don't know what to think anymore. The planet's process is supposed to be caused by all those time gears gone missing? That's why we all tried to stop Grovel from seeing the time gears. I mean, we were supposed to, right? So they said that they'd return the time gears to their rightful places. That should have prevented the planet's process. But despite all our efforts, why is the planet still paralyzed? The planet ever paralyzed? Our future? Uh, I don't know what, who or what to believe anymore. Why? <laughs> the Why We can't stay here, Benjamin. Let's get ready quickly so we can get going again. To get out of here, Benjamin. I do, wasn't this a landslide cave that I was like, huh, why is this music here? So, yep. All our supplies? Oh, get rid of that. Get rid of those two. <coughs> this is all of our supplies for the remainder of the future. For all we know, the remainder of the game. The remainder of our lives. Well, uh, I mean, I'm confused about the future, to be honest with you. <coughs> like, again, if everything stopped, how can we breathe? Why is the air not stopped? I mean, I guess the air molecules could keep on moving, but then again, like, is it because we're just in here entering it? Obviously, I guess that's why we're not frozen in time. Does it mean that this Pokemon statues were like, like, you know, we saw it firsthand in Underground Lake? How we, if we would have been caught in the ensuing, um, time stop? I guess because time stop would have been stopped really fast then, compared to slowing down over time. But anyways. 
to get out of here, Benjamin. Nope. So, that's going to be it for this episode. So, if you're ready for the future, you know what to do. <laughs> Next time we'll be back to the future, although I don't think it's going to be as pleasant as that movie. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen that movie. Believe it or not, I've actually seen that movie, but it's been like five years. And it was, again, an accidental watch, because it's like, you know... You know, marching band, when you go, like, uh, out-of-state competitions or stuff like that, you go on, like, the buses and stuff, and then they play movies. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. See ya!